this is Rob from Mastercraft Photography. Today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process of how I made my composite image of the 2024 solar eclipse. So the first thing that I did was to edit my individual images of the eclipse. I went with nine different images depicting nine different stages of the eclipse and I chose nine because I like odd numbers. Once you're in Photoshop, but whether you're on Mac or PC, this is more or less what you will see. I am on a Mac. So we're going to go ahead and click New File, and as you can see, the settings from my original composite image are still here. 8,000 pixels in width, 1,000 pixels in height, and I upped my resolution to 300 dpi. I did the same thing for my individual images as well. So we're going to go ahead and click on Create, and there we go. There's our image. And now we're going to go ahead and come here to Open and open our nine individual images. I've got them saved in a handy little folder here. And as you can see, I've sequentially numbered them one through nine. And if you open all nine, we're gonna let Photoshop spin for a minute. Here's our canvas. And then if you look here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in sequential order. That's gonna simplify things. Now that our canvas is created, the first thing we're going to do is click our paint bucket tool. We're going to click black up here in your gradient window. We're going to click on our background. That turns it black. Step two, we're going to come up to our individual images and use our select tool and select it. Control C or edit and copy. And we're going to come back to our main image and control V to paste, or you can click edit and paste. I'm just going to click command V because I'm on a Mac. There's our first image. You can see it in the center. We're going to click our select tool and drag that all the way over here to the right. We're going to do the same thing for step two, copy our second image in. Command V to paste, control V on a Windows. And we're going to go ahead and pop that right there. We're going to do the same thing for all nine images. Each one is going to automatically copy to the center. Right now, I'm just doing a basic kind of alignment. I'm not really going to do a final alignment or fine tuning until all nine are in. Here's number four. Just for right now, we'll put that there. Number five, this is our center image. This, because this is an eclipse, is the most perfect image I could get of the totality because I was not in the totality path. So it's not going to be a complete blocking of the sun. It's just going to be on the edge. And as you can see, I'm not quite aligned yet. I'm still going to continue copying our images in, and we'll do a final fine-tuning and alignment once we're back in. Okay, now that we have all nine images into our composite, it's time to align them. You're going to make sure that you have your grab tool or move tool here selected and we're going to just very gently move these images down to find the alignment that we need. As you're moving you'll notice these pink lines appearing. These are snap to grid lines. So essentially when you move an image in a composite like this and you've got two images you'll see it'll try to match them up. It's a great tool to kind of help you balance out your alignment. One thing that I like to do is Command or Control Plus on the keyboard will allow you to zoom in. And when you're zoomed in, you can kind of fine tune your aligning a little bit better than if you're in full screen. So we're going to keep tweaking this until we get our final alignment done here. This can be the most time consuming part, finding that perfect alignment. There's our basic alignment. The last thing we're going to do, select layer. We're going to hit flatten image. If you noticed on the right hand side of the screen, our layer is all flattened into one background. So now we're going to go ahead and hit file, export, export as. Wait for it to load. Because it's our finished image, we're going to select JPEG. I like to max my quality. And we're going to hit export. And I'm going to export it right to my desktop so I know where it is. And lo and behold, we'll shrink that. And there's our final image. And that's pretty much it, folks. It's a very simple process. 
As you can see, I really didn't spend a lot of time on my alignment, so it's a little off, but take the time to align your images up and you will be able to do this in your sleep very quickly. That is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you like learning about photography, I'd encourage you to check out local photography groups. Here in Maryland, where I'm based, I encourage you to check out the Harper County Photography Group as well as the Maryland Photography Alliance. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.